solubility of the ionic compound. So this is a solution. Now we have done atomization, hydration and solution in our AS levels but we haven't done something called first electron affinity. So first electron affinity is the enthalpy change when one mole of electrons is added to one mole of gaseous atoms to form one mole of gaseous one negative ions under standard conditions and so for example if I have O gas so one mole of gaseous atoms and I add one mole of electrons let me write E negative to represent electrons so if I add one mole of electrons to get one mole of gaseous one negative ions then this enthalpy change is called the first electron affinity because one mole of as I said one mole of electrons is added to one mole of gaseous atoms to form one mole of gaseous one negative ions and it is generally exothermic now this is generally exothermic because uh, usually we take first we consider first electron affinity for uh, for non-metals so since non-metals want to receive electrons so they readily readily take in one mole of electrons because they want electrons they are to attain stability to complete their octate so they want electrons to complete their octate and therefore uh, a, a bond will be formed a bond will readily be formed between these two electrons will readily be added to the oxygen atoms so electrons will since the electrons will be readily added to the oxygen atoms uh, energy will be released and therefore it is generally exothermic but then we have something called second electron affinity so second electron affinity is the enthalpy change when one mole of electrons is added to one mole of gaseous one negative ions to form one mole of gaseous two negative ions under standard conditions so in this case instead of adding electrons to one mole of gaseous atoms we are adding electrons to gaseous one one mole of gaseous one negative ions which is uh, no I, I forgot to write plus electrons uh, sorry for that yeah so it will be E negative to represent electrons and this will give me O2 negative ions so we get gaseous 2 negative ions the state symbol again very 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 important so under standard conditions now this is generally endothermic now let me tell you why because if you see that O negative ions have a negative charge and electrons have a negative charge so the, uh, as we know like charges repel so since these both are negatively charged both of these are negatively charged they will repel each other because like charges repel unlike charges attract so positive and negative attract negative and negative will repel so since these repel we need to give energy for them to bond so we need to give energy to add this one mole of electrons to this one mole of gaseous one negative ions so since we are giving energy the, re the second electron affinity is generally endothermic so this is very important to remember now standard enthalpy change of formation so we have done this as well in our AS levels it is the enthalpy change when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements under standard conditions the elements must be in their standard states so for the enthalpy change of formation if you are doing it for NaCl let me write over here then it will be NaS which is Na solid because the standard state of a sodium is uh, solid plus 1 by 2 Cl2 gas because in its standard state Cl exists as Cl2 in a gas state as diatomic uh, at, at diatomic molecules and this gives us one mole of solid NaCl which is the ionic compound so this the enthalpy change accompanying this reaction is called the standard enthalpy change of formation of NaCl because one mole of the compound is formed from its elements under standard conditions and the elements are in their standard states so this is the standard enthalpy change of formation now we are done with all of the definitions but before we proceed let's understand uh, something uh, about electron affinity so electron affinity is technically the opposite of uh, 
ionization energy because ionization energy was removing one mole of electrons.